All right, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, Pastor Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. A church you can call home. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de Nuevo Comienzo. Y prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. So praise God. We're going to continue on Wait Upon the Lord Part 2. Amen. So get yourselves ready to receive. Those listening by audio, those watching us uh, by video, um, get, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Let the word of God bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you because we're still under correction. Amen. Yeah. He's not finished with us. He says that he's the potter and we're the clay. Yeah. And guess what? The clay's always got to be touched up, you know, little areas that need to be corrected. Amen. So, prepárese usted los que nos están escuchando por audio, los que están viendo por video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Yeah. Él nos quiere bendecir, nos quiere animar y nos quiere cambiar y nos quiere corregir al mismo tiempo. Así es que prepárese para que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. So, praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm glad that's all said and done. Hallelujah. Look at this. <laughs> Say it like a mean at church, amen. amen. This is my Bible. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Here's mine. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught by of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Amen. Change it from glory to glory. Change it, change it, change it. You know, if there was no change, that means you're perfect. And you're, we're not perfect. <laughs> I know I'm not. The Lord's still working on me. Amen. Amen. But you don't give up. See yourself a learner. See yourself learning something every day. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He is teaching us. We're going to do a quick review of part, part one. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, our text is this, Isaiah 40 and 31, which says that, uh, but they that wait upon the Lord, who expect look for and hope for in him amen yeah. <laughs> we expect them to be there we'll gain new strength they'll renew their power they will lift up their wings and they will rise up close to god mm -hmm. like eagles when they rise up to the sun they will run and not become weary they will walk and not grow tired amen, amen. hallelujah praise god thank you lord we are to be waiting on him and uh, <clears throat> we talked a little bit about waiting on him uh, because his timing is, is different his yeah. time you know his his timing and his blessings are, are, are at a different time you know so when we get impatient <laughs> we miss out on many blessings because we want to be in control because we didn't want to wait and we want to do it well, I haven't heard from the Lord I know I prayed a few minutes ago and I haven't heard yet. <laughs> it might take him a while, you know. I, I think we talked about a little bit about this uh, last last week. Sometimes we, when he blesses us, when it comes to pass and God gives it to us, we say, you know, if he would have gave it to me back then, I wouldn't have been ready for it. I would have crashed and burned, you know, because I wasn't ready for it. And we good for us to admit that we weren't ready. Amen. It wasn't his problem. It's us not yeah. Yeah. ready for it. Amen. But we grew into it. Amen. We matured into it. Amen. Yeah. And we're maturing in the things of God. So we must learn to wait upon the Lord. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I told you about that little boy that was fishing. And he had a bad attitude because he wasn't catching anything. Uh -huh. So when the man, this happy man, came along, around checking on him, and ask him, are you catching anything? Are you catching any fish? And he says, no, I'm drowning worms. <laughs> so go away. Don't bother me. You know, <laughs> how many times the Lord sent somebody to talk to you or bless you or say something nice to you and you say, I don't want to be bothered. Go away. Amen. And we have these attitudes that we need to correct. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to change. I told you the attitude is like a, a flat tire. Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere. You can have a beautiful car. It takes you anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. But if you don't change that flat tire, it ain't going to go anywhere. That's right. So guess what? If you're a child of God, 
and you're going supposed to go somewhere to happen. You're an ambassador. You're you, you're a minister of reconciliation, and you're going somewhere with a bad attitude. We need to change that before we go anywhere. And if you spend time with him, if you really spend time with him, you're going to change the, your attitude before you leave the house. Yeah. Amen. When you correct that attitude and get it right, amen, then you're able to do because it's that smile, is that attitude that's going to attract those people, you know. You know, there's so many bad things going on in this world and you got a smile on your face. I just want to know what's keeping that smile on your face. Okay? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. Jesus. And you can have the same smile yourself. Yeah. Amen. I'm tired of frowning all the time. Mm -hmm. Tired of being sad all the time. It's time to be happy. It says joy, happiness is a good medicine for you. Amen. It blesses you. It's good for the soul. So praise God. <clears throat> We're going to pick up from there. And let me see where, where we left off. Today I want to show you how to live life to the fullest. Oh. Amen. By what? By soaring high, by running, and by walking over all. To be, listen, to be, okay, let me, let me read it this way. Soaring high, running, and walking over all troubles, all cares, all distractions, all temptations, all trials, and all this negative world. And if you're not prepared, this world will have you quit. Amen. Listen to this. Be patient. Be a triumphant believer, knowing your authority, using your authority, and not be a defeated Christian or a defeated believer. Amen. Amen. <laughs> being powerless, being defeated. I mean, that's that's the worst thing. Welcome, brother. That's the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you're a believer yeah. and you're on God's winning team, yeah. and yet you have no power. You're not using your power. Yeah. You're powerless. Yeah. You're not walking in the Word. You're not walking according to what He tells us to do. He's not, we're not walking according to what he's given us. Amen. He sacrificed, he sacrificed his son for us. Amen. He sacrificed his son for us. So that we could have a free gift of salvation and confess him. You know, if you haven't, confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. And be and join his winning team. Mm -hmm. And not be a loser anymore. John 16, 33 says this. These things I have spoken to you. That in me, you would have peace. In this world, you will have tribulations. Now, he's already told us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, with him we win. Without him, we lose. Right. In this world, you will have tribulations, uh -huh. misfortunes, trials, sufferings, troubles. Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I know none of you have ever had any of those. <laughs> but be of good cheer, he says. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So praise God, and of course that brings us to our text mm -hmm. that tells us to uh, to wait upon the Lord, Amen. and we shall renew our strength. Amen. Hallelujah. We try to do it on our way, on ourselves. It ain't going to happen. So we must be patient, have faith, trust, obey, and wait on Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Remember this: the best is yet to come. Yes. He promised Amen. He was coming back. So the best is yet to come. Oh. Amen. And I'm waiting for His return. But you know. During that time, we're going to find out here in a few minutes. I'm getting way ahead of myself, but being patient on the Lord doesn't mean that you ain't going to do anything. <laughs> we still have to do something, amen? amen. And, and you know, we're the army of God, mm -hmm. amen. Yes. and armies are busy, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? Yes. You just don't sit and say, what are you doing? Well, I'm just waiting on God. <laughs> well, he's waiting on us to do something. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get moving. We, we're, we're a mobilized army. Yes. Going somewhere to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. praise God. Woo, hallelujah. I'm happy. What about you? <laughs> we're the man over wings as eagles. We're to run and not be weary, and we're to walk and not faint. See yourself yeah. <clears throat> aware. See yourself soaring with God. Yeah. Not scratching with the chickens, right. eating with the pigs, oh, or struggling God. in the world, or dragging yeah. with the world. You know, only when you allow yourself to be brought down. But you don't have to be brought down unless right. you let yourself. Amen. You know, you hear these things, you hear these things. 
You, I think the Bible calls it eye gate. Yeah. Your eye gate and your ears you see things and they hear things and don't mean that you got to go and crawl in there or scratch with the chickens. Right. I told you the story about the eagle. Amen. He was right put, put in the chicken coop and started acting like a chicken. <laughs> and, and you know, mm. and he says, you're the king of all birds. You're mm. supposed to be up in the sky, not scratching here with the chickens. You know, God made us to be triumphant. God made us to be rich. Yes, God made us to be to have authority, but we're acting defeated. Yeah. And we're acting like we're, we're nobodies. Uh -huh. You know, and we let people talk to us that way. We let people tell us, you know, you're a nobody. You're no good. And sometimes <laughs> families, you know, family or uh, fathers, I mean parents, brothers, sisters, you know, worse ones. But you know, you have to Teach yourself. You have to study the word for yourself so you can find out who you are in Christ and who's backing you and mm -hmm. how you can start speaking these faith filled words yourself. Yes. So you can change your attitude about who you are, about what you are. Amen? So now you don't have to be there anymore. Be the winner, be the champion he's created you to be and take the authority and use the authority he's given you. Amen? Praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. I'm blessed. I'm more blessed already. I'm more about you. <laughs> hallelujah. Quit struggling with the world and quit dragging with the world. You know, I have co workers, <laughs> and I still do, and they can bring the sad story and tell you how they're dragging. You know, but you tell them about your Jesus. Amen. You tell them about your Jesus, and, and don't let just anybody talk, to you, talk into your life. If they're not qualified, they got bigger problems than you, and here they are telling you how to do these things. That's not right. Wait on the Lord takes patience. Amen? Amen. <laughs> well, we talked a little bit about this. The church has become impatient, irate, irritable, <laughs> aggressive, aggr let's go, aggravated, provoked, and edgy. Impotent, not impetuous, and uh, Impulsive. In God's, there's timing. So we got to remember that. Remember his timing and his ways are different. Waiting on the Lord should be yes. should not be hard. We make it hard. Wow. Because we want to make it in our time. Yeah. We want to answer now. You know, well, when I need to, I'll call you when I need to. You know, but we treat him like a <clears throat> like the spare time. Yeah. We only call on him only in case of emergency. All right, yeah. You know, when we, whatever. No. Whatever your situation is. All our situations are different. Yeah. But we only call on him when things are going mm -hmm. the wrong way. Then we remember, oh, I can call on God. Mm -hmm. And if he don't answer right away, <clears throat> we get upset. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So we have to be careful. Philippians 4, 6, and 8, I'm not going to read it to you, but it says to cast all your cares on him. Yeah. Give it all to him. Why are you still holding on to it? You know, it's time to give it up and give it to him. We've been conditioned by the world to be impatient. We don't want to wait. All we right. can't wait. We put it off. Mm. And we want it now. Oh, <laughs> Need it now. We must get it now. We also live in this fast and instant world. And I told you about the fast food services, the fast cars. <laughs> uh, of course, the Facebooks and internet, internet, computer, cell phones, all these smart things. <laughs> yeah. Amen. You want it now. You want it now. And we want God to move this way. Uh-huh. You know, he, 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 he can, he will, if he, if he has to, but his timing is best for us. Yeah. See yourself the way God sees you, amen? That's right. He sees you soaring, he sees you running, he sees you walking. Amen. Pressing on to be yes. an overcomer. Amen. Overcoming the cares, the problems, the troubles, the setbacks, the failures, lacks, anything that makes you fall. Mm. What makes you stop? Mm -hmm. Only you know. Yours is different than mine. Yeah. What makes you stop? There, we got to take time and spend time with Him so that we can get in the Word and and allow the Word to correct us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we don't have have to be running into this wall all the time. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to read you this uh, scripture here, and you can mark it, write it down, and you can go read it yourself. But in the Book of Mark, chapter four, verse thirty-five through forty. It says, starts off like this, the winds and the waves obey Jesus. Sure. On the same day that evening had come, Jesus said to them, 
He says, let us cross over to the other side. <laughs> if you've been around Jesus all this time, and Jesus says, we're going to the other side, do you have any reason to doubt that? <laughs> There shouldn't be any reason to doubt that yeah. on a daily basis when you spend time with him and he tells you, this is what I want you to do. This is what's going to happen. Is there any doubt? No, I just got to have patience and I got to have faith and obey what he's telling me to do. <laughs> but this time and every day on ourselves. Him along, uh, him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. <laughs> and a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat upon the boat, so that it was already filling. Aha, mm. uh -huh, we have an emergency. <laughs> Where's Jesus? Call him. <laughs> you know, how about if we call Jesus on the phone and he never answers us? <laughs> like when he calls us and we just. Oh, with Jesus, you see a caller right here? <laughs> Jesus calling. Don't pick it up. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. No, but he was in the stern, back in the back, asleep on a pillow. Now, <laughs> Jesus says, we're going to the other side. He knew what was going to happen. And he went to sleep. He's got faith. <laughs> He's being patient. We're going to. Will come daily, no concern to him. When he uh, he went to sleep, the storm troubled him. Amen. Mm -hmm. It troubled them. They awoke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care that we perish? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be the one that's in you. You need to know that great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You need to know that you can do all things through Christ. Yeah. You need to know that you have authority no matter what comes against you. Yeah. And you need to know that he never leaves you nor forsakes you. And he's backing you all the time. So these storms of life shouldn't trouble you in any way. Because you know what to do. Amen. So we need to be strong, and we need to be strong in him. Amen? But you need to spend time with him, fellowship with him, and get in the word. Get yeah. the word in. When you get the word in, fear has to go out That's because right. faith is built. Amen. When you fill yourself with the word of God, you're filling yourself with faith. Mm -hmm. Amen? And when you're full of faith, I'm going to go giant hunting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go storm hunting. Oh. <laughs> Where is that storm? Give me to it. Let me, let me, let me at it. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you're strong in him, we can soar and overcome the world and Satan himself. Uh -huh. Amen. You got to understand, church, Satan is a defeated foe. Yes, he is. Amen. He's a defeated foe, and you have yeah. authority over him. Yeah. But he's had his own run for too long a time. Mm -hmm. It's time we put him on the run. That's right. And let him know what his place is, uh -huh. what his future is like. When he mm -hmm. tells you about what's going to happen, to you tomorrow, or what's going to happen to you in the next few days. Mm -hmm. You let him know what's going to happen right. to him in the future. That's right. Amen. So praise God. Amen. And when he tells you what's going to happen to you, say, you know what? That old Jose, he don't live there no more. That's the wrong address. <laughs> so you got to go somewhere That's else. Right. But I'm, I can remind you, I'm going to tell you what's, what's going to happen to you in the uh -huh. future. John, uh, 1 John 4, 4 says, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. It's not good when people are in bondage. Uh -uh. Amen. And you know what? Uh, the people of God <laughs> were in bondage for what? Over 400 years? Yes. And finally, God chose Moses. Maybe Moses wasn't the first pick. That's right. <laughs> Maybe he talked to Jose first. And Jose uh -huh. said, no, no, I can't do it. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Whoever he talked to first, maybe mm -hmm. they gave it up and said, I can't uh -huh. do it. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. But he chose Moses, and then Moses tried to back out too, and he uh -huh. said, I stutter. <laughs> what is he picking you to do these days? Mm -hmm. And you say, you know what? I'm not good enough for that. Mm -hmm. Because you see yourself fearless. Mm -hmm. You see yourself in fear. You see yourself uh, putting off. You see yourself, I I'm nobody, because everybody's been telling you, you're no good. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And you, they built you up. Uh -huh. You're already this person. 
defeated yeah. person. Yeah. But you can do all things through yes. Christ. Amen. Amen. He chose Moses, and Moses finally <laughs> he went. Uh, uh -huh. that, that's another uh, uh, sermon. But Moses went before Pharaoh uh -huh. and says, "Let my people." God says, "Let let his people go." Mm -hmm. He well, he didn't want to at first, but finally he says, "Yeah, let him go." And Moses says, "Well, you got to tell me." When you want these people, you know, when when, uh, mm -hmm. when you want this thing to stop, these curses that God has put on you. And he says, well, he says, you put this curse of frogs on them. Mm -hmm. And the Pharaoh says, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> if, 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 if God can get rid of it right now, uh -huh. why would you say tomorrow? Yeah. And why spend another time with the frogs? Yes. Why spend another problem? Another why, why sp spend another another uh, day with the same problem that's been holding you back when God can say, I can take it from you now. Uh -huh. Amen. You give it to me. Give it away. And I can take that from you right now. But Pharaoh says, tomorrow. Yeah. We're very popular for mañana. <laughs> We're very popular for tomorrow. You know what? That sounds real good. But guess what? Tomorrow. I'm kicking back today. I'm relaxing today. So tomorrow, that'll be great. Tomorrow is another day. Well, guess what? Tomorrow may never come. And when you get tomorrow, it'll be mañana. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> it's not good when pe people of God are in bondage, in prison, in sin. People of God were in sin and sent Moses to deliver them, get them out of there. Yeah. And you know what? He, he took them out, and they went into the wilderness, into the, de into the desert. And every time they saw a problem, they was crying, God gave them everything they wanted. But every time they come into a problem, they always saw themselves going back to uh, Egypt. Egypt. Mm -hmm. They always wanted to go back to the same problem. Yes. God delivered you from that. Why go back to the same thing? That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't just... <laughs> bad habits. The bondage and bad, bad habits. The ways of the world. Other little things. Whatever little things stop you from being victorious. Things that stop you from being uh, uh, free from what God has set you free. Amen. But with God, you know, he wants to free you from these things because he's calling you to do something. Yes. Every one of us has a call. Yes. Amen. We're not here just to sit and spectate. That's right. <laughs> We're here to do, get encouraged, mm -hmm. assemble ourselves together, encourage one another, Amen. and say, hey, you know, you go out there and, and you're the winner. Yes. Not the loser. You're the head, not the tail. You're above, right. not beneath. Amen. Amen. See yourself that way. Mm -hmm. Amen. We pep each other up. We said pep rallies here. You know, and say, hey, we can do all things through Christ. Yes. Church, we got to let go and let God. Amen. Amen. Whatever makes you stop, let it go. Mm -hmm. Let God. With yes. him, all things are possible. Yes. Waiting on God requires <laughs> faith, patience. <laughs> yes. Amen. So wait on the Lord. Amen. There's hope for us. One yes. thing for sure. None of us uh, are good at it waiting. Oh, <laughs> We're not good at waiting. We have no patience. We start pacing. <laughs> we get uneasy. We get impatient. And here's Patricia and I, we sometimes we remind each other this. You don't have to speak everything that pops in your head. <laughs> I says, no, that's not good. Because once you speak it, you're planting it, you're sowing it. Mm. Amen? The Bible tells us God created this world with words. Yes. Amen? He says he sends his words out, and they accomplish what he sends them out to do. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with us. Words are carriers. They carry life or death. That's right. And that's what power tells us. You know, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Death and life are in the power of your words. Yes. So you be careful of those words you say. Well, I have to say, I have to say yeah. it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Especially if there was uh, not good words. Yeah. But you spoke them anyway. Now they've been sowed. Mm. And guess what? Anything that you plant is going to grow. Yeah. So you know you just got to go back and say, Hey, I don't root them things. I don't want them in my garden. Oh. Amen. I don't want them in my life. Oh. I had enough of those things. Mm. Amen. So you got to clean it up. Say, Ooh, no room more. No way, Jose. <laughs> we got to stop shooting his words out and be careful. Amen. Amen. You heard, uh, you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. You 
going to grow it. It's going to, but it's going to come to you. Yeah. So praise God. Give no place to the devil. That's right. And if you do, he wants to ruin you, drive you, oh, yes. and guide you. Mm. <laughs> and devour you. Oh, yes. Eventually kill you. His mission. So I'm getting ahead of me now. It's all right. His mission is to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. That makes you want to say, well, you know what? <laughs> I don't want no part of you. Mm -mm. Amen. You know, he wants to be your partner, but I, uh, I don't want you as my partner. <laughs> he wants to come in and, and uh, join, you know, wants, wants for you to mm -hmm. get, give him a ride, you know, on a daily mm -hmm. basis. The world will see to it, you know. Enemy comes by. He uses yeah. people just like God uses people. Yes. Except they don't have Jesus in their heart. Mm -hmm. But he wants to come in mm -hmm. and distract you and pull you away from the things of God. Amen. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He's going to destroy your mission walk. He's going to destroy your mission. Amen. He wants you not to fulfill your mission. You know what happens when you fulfill your mission? Jesus is pleased and he says, welcome home, good and faithful servant. Amen. That's what I want to hear. I'm not taking no detours. Hallelujah. Praise God. Waiting upon the Lord. Here's a couple of biblical uh, weights uh, of the Lord. Abraham and Sarah, remember how long they waited to have a child? Oh, God promised a child. Mm. So you see how patient you must be? Mm. They waited a long time for uh, Isaac. Mm. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaac. <laughs> Amen. Noah. God said, build me an ark. What is an ark? Mm. It was a boat. And we're going to build an ark for the rain. He says, well, what's rain? <laughs> and then he waited for the rain and he waited for the flood mm -hmm. but he was patient yes. and he obeyed what God told him to do mm -hmm. and Jesus came but he waited for the right time to be fulfilled mm -hmm. amen he waited for the right time it took him 30 years before he started yes. and once he started you know it was completed and he mm -hmm. saw all the way through and there was a lot of distractions all the way through. Don't think that, you know, well, he was the son of God, so he, he had all these extra powers or whatever, you know. No, he said he stripped himself mm -hmm. before he left heaven. Yes. Amen. But he spent time with the Father mm -hmm. to renew himself. We yes. need to do the same thing. Renew our minds with the Word of God yes. and say, I can do all things through God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And, and, and let the Word of God be there for you. And, you know, build yourself up in him, yes. praise God. Mary and Martha, <laughs> you know, they called for Jesus to come because yes. Lazarus was sick. Uh -huh. And guess what? Jesus waited for Lazarus to die. It's not that he was too busy to come. He waited for Lazarus to die because he didn't want people to doubt. He didn't want people saying, well, you know, hey, he really wasn't that sick. Yes. So Jesus came and he just got up. Uh. He wanted to make sure he was dead. The Bible says he was so dead, he stunk. <laughs> okay? So, when Mary and Martha saw Jesus showed up, they said, you know, you're too late. He's already gone. He said, no, he's not. He's still asleep. <laughs> and spoke to him. Spoke what? Words to him. And he came. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And he came. I don't care what, how he was tied up or bound up or whatever, Lazarus came. Yes, Lazarus yes. was obedient. Yes. Amen. The same power, the same authority you have in you. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 So praise God. Praise God. So he told Lazarus, come. And he come. <laughs> he told his disciples, he says, go into the world, preach my gospel. He says, these are the things you can do. You know, cast out devils. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go and heal preach the, the word. Heal the sick. Mm. You know, lay hands on the sick. Heal them. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. But then he says, go and wait because I'm going to, he says, I must go, but you wait. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to come and be your helper. Be there for you. Amen? Yes. And guess what? It took time. So they waited. How many people do you think went in there, in that place? Huh. Maybe a thousand people went in that place. Yeah. By the time it was all over, how many was in there? Uh, 120. 120. Yeah. You don't know. That place might have been packed. Mm -hmm. But there might have been a whole bunch of impatient people in there saying, you know what? <laughs> I'm not putting up with this anymore. Oh, they missed out. Mm -hmm. Amen. They missed out. And those of you that are listening and watching, 
There's still hope for you. There's still time for you. <laughs> so all you have to do is confess him as your Lord and Savior, and he'll come to you right now. You don't have to take all this time. It won't take that long. All you have to do is confess him as your Lord and Savior, and he'll come to you right now. And you do an about face, and you start going the other way for God. Amen. You don't have to be in the world. Amen. He said, we're in the world, but not of the world. That's right. All believers waiting for his return in each case. All of us still waiting. Uh -huh. He said he's coming back. We yeah. don't know when. The Father don't. I mean, Jesus don't know. He said, only the Father knows. Only the Father. Only the Father knows. Mm -hmm. But we're to wait and we're to occupy. Yes. Not to wait don't mean yeah. we're going to be doing nothing. <laughs> We're going to be participators. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be participators. Yeah. I like that word. Not spectators, but uh -huh. participators. Yeah. You know, when you spectate, you find faults. Oh, you start oh, judging. Yeah. You start oh, finding my, my bad goodness. things. And that's not, that, we're not called to do that. No. We're called to be participators. Mm -hmm. And we're to participate to bring reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Ministers of reconciliation. Bringing yeah. the world lost to Christ. Yes. Amen. Thank so Lord. that's what you are. You're a blessing. You're a, you're, you're, you're a minister of reconciliation going somewhere to happen. Yes. I've told you this way. You are the Bible. You're the closest thing to a Bible so many people will ever read. That's right. Amen? Because they're reading you. You're the closest thing to a Bible you'll ever come close to. Mm. Amen? Ooh, a child of God. Yes. yes. Amen. You. Amen. Praise God. Ooh. Praise God. Amen. They love God, knew God's promise and word, rested in God, relied upon his love, care, and protection. They used patience. They used faith. Yeah. Amen. In each case, it was worth the wait. Yes. That's good for the spiritual giants. That's good for Bible heroes. Uh -huh. But what about us, little people? <laughs> what about us, little grasshoppers? Amen. <laughs> when they saw the promised land, and they went and spied the promised land. I don't know why they sent spies into the promised land because God says, I've already given you the promised land. But we're going to send spies anyway to go check it out and then come back with this report. <laughs>Little grasshoppers, uh -huh. these guys are giants. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going into a giant world. Yes. We're just, you see yourself as little grasshoppers, <laughs> you ain't no match. But the two, Caleb and uh, well, Joshua, Joshua uh -huh. he says, we're able, we're capable. Yes. We can go well, and do all this. Yes. We're well able to do these mm -hmm. things. Well, that's the way you see yourself on a daily basis. Yes. You know, before you step into the world, spend time with him, build hey. yourself up, and know who you are and who's back in you. Yes. And you can go and make today. Bigger yes. than any mountain. Yes. Bigger than any 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 mountain. Bigger than any problem. You know. <laughs> we all have problems. Or you all have mountains. Mm -hmm. Don't let your mountains or your problems talk to you. That's it. You talk to them <laughs> about your God. Oh, amen. And how big your God is. That's Nothing it. is bigger than your God. Amen. amen. We need to God. remember this. Because those things are coming. Those things, you know, the enemy attacks. The battlefield is the uh -huh. mind. And all, the mind is going 100 miles oh, yeah. or more. And <laughs> thoughts are flying by all the time. All the time. You know, and we try to think ourselves as being little people, mm. nobodies, mm. you know. And that's not what God created that's us right. to be. Yeah. You see yourself the way he created you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to be closing. Amen. Praise God. As, as Christians, God wants us to rely on him with patience. Remember his timing. Yes. It's his timing. Whatever we're doing, we're to look to him. Amen. He will give us the strength to continue as we are tempted to give in. Forget it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's because... We have walked away from him. Uh -huh. He never walks away from us. That's right. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's always with us. Amen. But we need to know that he's always with us. So we need yeah. to turn ourselves, turn ourselves around and come yeah. back to God, come back yeah. to Father and say, 
You don't have need to. Just like the prodigal son and say, <laughs> you know, hey, I can do better at father with father. Mm -hmm. You know, if I go back to father, you know, immediately uh -huh. father restored him. Yes. And you know what? It don't take a whole lot of time. He can do it right away. That's right. He does it right away. Just all you yes. need to do is say, <laughs> if you done wrong, all you have to do is confess it, repent it, yes. stop it, quit it, and, and press on. Because you have a calling already. And you know he's yes. gifted you and none of it, he's not taking any of that calling away from you. Uh -uh. So you know what? When you repent, when you confess and repent, it's time to say, hey, dust yourself off, get yourself off, and press on with the yes. faith of God. Amen. Yes. We just That's gotta cool. change our ways, gotta change our sometimes we gotta change our company. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the things that distract us and press on with God. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo. Praise yes. God. Yet, when we look to our Lord with patience, mm -hmm. He will renew us. Yes. He will renew us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So waiting upon the Lord, He'll lift us. Lord, He will lift us up higher and higher. Amen. We will be above and not beneath. Uh -huh. We'll be the head and not the tail. Yes. And able to do all that God has created us to yes. be. Amen. Amen. I'm not magnifying myself. I'm magnifying my God. Amen. <laughs> and what we do a lot of times is we magnify problems uh -huh. in the world more than we magnify our God. Come on now. Amen. Come on now. <clears throat> quick quick little story and then I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Okay. The father and the son were taking this uh, hike. And the son, of course, he runs ahead of the father. He comes to a creek, afraid. The father's afraid that he's going to fall in. So the father says, wait for me, and I'll get you across. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, the son obeyed. And when the father got there, he lifted the son up on his shoulders and waded across the creek. Mm -hmm. And the son said, you know, I'm glad I waited because I couldn't have made it across myself. Mm -hmm. How true of us. Let us wait on God. He'll get us across any obstacle life puts in your way. Amen. Amen. That's why it's so important that we wait on Him. Yes. Amen. We wait on Him and we miss out because we never waited. Mm. This problem is facing you, mm. and we try to tackle it ourselves mm. instead of saying, Lord, how do I do this? Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm waiting on you. Yes. Amen. Amen. He'll give you the strength. He says, you're going to fly over this. You ain't going to scratch your way across. Right. <laughs> We're going to fly. We're going to put you on yes. his shoulders. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he's going to walk you across. Which, you know, just uh, paraphrase uh, the, the footprints. You know, when you saw the footprints, there's two footprints, two sets. Uh -huh. Amen. We're walking this together, me and God. And next thing you know is there's one set of footprints. Mm -hmm. And the man says, what happened? Where did you go? Mm. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Those footprints were me carrying you. Mm -hmm. And that's what he does. You know, when yes. we just give in and give Amen. out, he's still there to carry us. Yes. Amen. And we just need to come to our senses and say, yes. Lord, I confess my sin. Yes. I repent. Yes. And it's time to dust yourself off uh -huh. and walk with him again. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you Amen. walk with him, the Bible says that you can do all, all things, things through Christ who Christ. strengthens you. Amen. Amen. Yes. So I close with that. Amen. Amen. I hope it blesses you. It blessed me. Amen. Amen. And I really needed it. <laughs> so praise God. <clears throat>